Well, hello folks out there in YouTube land. Got a big show lined up for you. Let's get right on into it. All right, folks, let's pull up the screen. Ah, yes, ABML, also known as American Battery Technology Company. A little update on the plant. We're going to take a look at their financials and talk about why they jumped. So let's get on into it. All right, so let's take a look on Twitter here. This is a plant update, and we can kind of see what they're up to. Here they're putting up the walls, as you can see, and uh, bracing them. Look at that. So uh, they're definitely making some progress here. It says on-site update, closure pours, uh, completing the connections, and uh, they're finished in structural steel on site. And here they say securing a domestic supply chain for critical minerals is more important now than ever. ABTC is highlighted in Business Insider's four top battery recycling startups aiming to serve U.S. automakers. And I couldn't read this because it was behind a paywall, but it talks about ABTC CEO Ryan uh, Messlert shares their perspective on the importance of building a domestic battery supply chain with Bloomberg News. I couldn't read that again, but um, that played a little bit of a role in, I think, why it popped. And it's been a little while since I've covered ABML. Uh, this, is, um, this is kind of a picks and shovels for energy, uh, batteries, magnets, metals, nickel, lithium, all of that. And I just covered MP Materials, a stock that has done fantastically for me and for many other people, a very important mine in North America. It's the only one that actually refines the uh, rare earth elements. And uh, China is actually dominating that. And uh, MP Materials is a, a big player now in North America. ABTC is going to be very important in the recycling of those uh, materials in all of these EVs as they get retired over time. Now, if you don't believe in EVs and you don't think it's the future, this is not stock for you. I mean, just to understand that. But I'm a big believer in EVs long term. So I can see a recycling plant, especially one near uh, a gigafactory, as being a very useful uh, uh, picks and shovel play. So let's take a look at ABTC. As you know, what they do, they uh, disassemble the batteries, they extract the materials, they purify them, and then they've got battery grade materials provided uh, to their manufacturers, they sell them. Now there is one issue. This uh, disassembling of the batteries is a major issue and we've got one individual who's very upset about it and has been fighting it tooth and nail. Disassemble, dead. Hey, slow down. No disassemble. Okay, but it's just the one guy, and it's Johnny Five, and he's a little upset about it. But maybe we can get it worked out with him. But other than that, I think this is going to work out just fine. All right, so let's take a look at their balance sheet. Because understand, they're not in revenue yet. They're building their plant. You know, they're not in operation. So this is a pre-revenue uh, company. But let's take a look at their balance sheet because that's very important. Uh, they need the money uh, to uh, do the things they need to do, build their plant and get everything up and operational. Uh, let's see, assets, they've, uh, they're up to $42 million, which is a, a nice increase from June. I believe they raised some money and sold some shares. That's a little bit of dilution, I understand that. But they did raise uh, quite a bit of money, and they're up to $42 million in cash and $60 million in assets. And it looks to me like they've got enough money there to uh, probably build this plant without going into heavy debt. As you can see, uh, total liabilities of $4.8 so they're, they're in fantastic. That's a great balance sheet for a small company. I, I love that. And here you can see for the quarter, they lost about $4 million bucks. So, you know, they're in good shape financially. That's not a huge loss for a company that's in uh, pre-revenue. So I'm pretty pleased with that. Um, like I say, they're going to lose some money for a while, but I like this as a picks and shovel play uh, for the EV market and for recycling because those batteries are going to have to be recycled and all those materials need to be reused because they're hard to get and it's expensive to refine them. And really, this will help our country. That's what ABTC is going to do and other companies like them and MP Materials. They're going to help our country become more self-sufficient, especially as the EV market pops up. So let's take a look at the stock itself. As you can see, it's uh, been kind of meandering between a dollar and it's dropped as low as 67 cents. And I actually almost bought it the other day in the 70s. But I was buying some other stocks like Planet 13 I picked up and Cardano, which is a crypto. And I bought some MP materials when it got hit by a short report and uh, some other stocks like Alice. 
But um, if this thing does pull back again, I'm going to pick up some more because this is a very much a long-term buy for me, and I'm holding ABML stocks, uh, stock shares. But um, I'd like to have some more. And like I said, I'm not in a rush on this because, again, this is going to be a long-term hold. But the closer they get to uh, that plant being operational, I think we'll start seeing this thing pop. But we're not quite there yet, so I am looking to add right in here. And then uh, hopefully over time, I do expect when they start having revenues for this thing to go up because there's going to be huge demand for those materials. All right, folks, and that's just a quick update there on ABML and uh, kind of want to understand why it jumped. And I think, uh, like I say, the government's sort of getting involved there and talking about the importance of the supply chain of raw materials and uh, recycling is a big part of um, why this thing jumped. And again, I think it's got a real good future. I understand it's pre-revenue, so there's risk there. But uh, take that into consideration. Tread lightly, but this is one I'd like to hold long term and I, I plan on it. And if you like this content, be sure to hit that like button. Let's me know to continue to cover ABML. And if you haven't subscribed, hit that subscribe button. I'd appreciate it. And we'll see you next time on Mr. Frugal Investor.